you know, if, if we do trust the critics uh, and the audiences plus the bookies, then perhaps uh, Slumdog Millionaire will win that big one, which is of course the best picture as well. But then as we're waiting for that to unfold, also give us an indication of the other contenders in this uh, particular category. A lot of them, uh, there's no really front runner, as you pointed out a lot of times before as well, uh, especially in these awards. Yeah, the front runner, the, the front runner this year has turned out to be uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Let me just take a moment to interrupt you. You know, we predicted Best Actress to Kate Winslet for the Reader. It is Best Actress. Uh, it is Kate Winslet, Best Actress for the Reader. A, a very fine performance. Kate Winslet nominated six times. Uh, you know, including the nomination for the Reader, six times nominated. Her first win for, of course, the Reader. Um, a, a, a strong film, a very strong performance. Uh, a very difficult performance for an actress so young. You know, she's she's really in her early 30s uh, and an actress who's consistently delivered uh, exceptional work. Best actress Kate Winslet for The Reader. Um, she plays of course uh, a, a, an SS guard who's being tried for her crimes in 50s Germany. A lady who has, you know, an older woman who has a, who has an affair, uh, a very deeply sexual affair with uh, with a young teenage boy. It's a great performance and really one that, uh, that, that, that perhaps only Kate Winslet could have pulled off. It's a year when she delivered two very fine performances, the other one being in the film Revolutionary Road, which unfortunately was left out of the Oscars. Kate Winslet wins Best Actress for the Reader. Right. Uh, that bit of news coming in from the Kodak Theatre. Rajiv, uh, 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 Rajiv uh, we, we've spoken about this before, that Kate Winslet has been passed over many times in the past. The fact that this is her sixth nomination and her first award, uh, clearly telling the story in Titanic when he said uh, many believe that she acted Leonardo DiCaprio off the screen, but she didn't end up winning uh, that Oscar for her role in it. Uh, uh, it tell us something more about how big this would be for Kate Winslet, given that Meryl Streep was in the same category. You know, for exactly that reason, it's such a big win. I mean, to be, to, to, you know, to beat Meryl Streep uh, is, 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 you know, legendary. And, and Kate Winslet is a very fine actress. But of course, you know, the Oscars, uh, I think they have to be taken in this, in, in the correct spirit, where it's, you know, it's acknowledgement of, of, of all nominees. And, you know, it's the best thing about the Oscars, uh, you know, is the fact, that, and the best thing about the best awards, you know, irrespective of whether it's the Oscars or, or whatever awards, the, the best thing about um, the right awards is the fact that, you know, irrespective of who wins uh, and, and who loses, it's, you know, whoever wins, even if it's a surprise upset, it's always won by a very deserving candidate. You know, it's never gone to a bad performance. And um, you know, and it's great that Kate Winslet, who's been an actress who's who's really impressed, uh, you know, audiences and filmmakers over so many years. 